Ready to receive uh, Junme. We are seeing dignitaries now. Honorable Kalonzo Msioka uh, right here. Emmanuel To, just please let us know. We are seeing dignitaries already there. Let us know what they have to say. Um, and uh, Karibu to uh, the, uh, this, this point in time. Well, I thank you very much, Anki. We are joined uh, by some of the dignitaries who also escorting June to her final resting place. And uh, some of those are the former Vice President Kalonzo Musioko, is also the Wiper Party leader and other leaders, including uh, the former Governor for Moranga, Mwangi Wairia. Let me just engage the former VP. And uh, what would you remember about June and uh, what does this mean to you? Well, um, as we escort our sister to her final resting place, of course, we, we remember June as a vibrant, exuberant, the smile, the smile is what we shall miss most and uh, um, a sheer presence, right? Although she was uh, President Moy's daughter, right? You never saw that in our, in our demeanor. It was just June. So we... That's why we are all in solidarity at this time as we, we fly down there to say Kwaheri to her. And you worked closely with the father, uh, the former president, the retired president, the late Daniel Turete Chalap Moy. What was it like interacting with June and uh, the relationship you had with her? You know, she made sure that whenever her dad was uh, engaging political leaders, she would just be evasive. I mean, she, she would be there and yet she's not there. She had that tremendous uh, respect for leaders. And she knew that her dad had to engage with everybody at the appropriate times. Uh, so she would come and uh, within minutes she's gone. Um, so she, she was also that type of a person. You wouldn't all the time associate her with her father. So she gave everybody space. And so the, because her father was very engaging, as you know, a hands-on kind of uh, president. And lastly, uh, she was a patriot. What would the message be? Uh, rather, what I'm, I'm, I'm saying, she was a patriot. She was a patriot. Yes. Uh, what, can, what messages can uh, Kenyans draw from her life? Just to keep on, uh, for example, loving each other. Because I never had anybody, anybody complain about June Moy. Nobody. So if we can all be all-encompassing, loving each other, tolerating each other, it will be an appropriate tribute to this wonderful lady. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me speak to Governor here. Just a quick word. Uh, you know, I know you, you have been a person of interest. Uh, let me, what do you draw from the message uh, from June's uh, death? Uh, you know, Jesus' father was the father of the nation. So Moy's family is actually a national family. And as a family which brought Kenyans together for 24 years. So actually, June is a child of this country. And uh, as a child of Moi, that is the element which was connecting Moi's family with the other children in this nation. So uh, the laws of June actually is uh, the partial laws of the family's connection with the nation of Kenya. Thank you so much, Governor. We have to go because uh, uh, the leaders are just getting ready to board their planes. Uh, going all the way to uh, the final uh, resting place in Akuru County. The live pictures from the Wilson Airport, and of course, we have heard from the dignitaries, including Honorable Kalonzo Msioka, who has eulogized June as having had tremendous respect for leaders. And he she gave everybody uh, their space, and she was a patriot. I want to hand over to Dennis Aceto. And of course, remember every time you live and live and breathe the next breath, what will you be remembered for? May her soul rest in peace. Dennis